Hey guys, and welcome to Jay's Nest. Today I have, I'm pretty sure, 12 diaper covers that I'm going to go over and review today for you guys. I'm going to go over kind of the basic features in a Jay Jabber style, so no fancy editing or anything like that. And then I'm also going to tell you what I like and what I don't like from these diaper covers. These are all ones that I have in my stash and that I use. Some I like more than others, some I just don't like at all. And some I actually have to sell off for money. We're in a really tight situation right now where I have to sell most of my stash, unfortunately. So I need to get this video up and edited because some of these diaper covers I'm actually shipping in a few hours. So I wanted to kind of give you guys an overview of you know, what I have in my stash and what I like and kind of what I don't like. Lena's Life just did this on her channel. I'll go link it down below. If you haven't checked it out already, definitely go check it out. Go send her some love. She has some brands in there that I've never tried or that I don't have in my stash currently. You guys probably aren't even going to watch this until like a month in the future. I'm so behind with video editing and also my computer is not turning on. But let's just dive right into this. So first I'm going to start off with two covers I just don't really like. Um, <laughs> figured I'd just get that out of the way. The first one is the Smart Bottoms cover. Don't really like this cover. For a lot of reasons, it just fits really wonky. They have redone the design. When they first came out with it, it was really, really bad. Then the second time they improved it, it was a little better, but I still think there are some improvements that need to be made. One thing I do like about these is that they have those inner flaps. You know, I've always really liked the inner flaps on diaper covers, but since moving into this house, I have not been able to spray poopy diapers, so I have to dunk and swish. And honestly, I'm starting to really enjoy covers without the flaps. I like the flaps because I pad fold flats and pre-folds, and I just kind of tuck them in there. But when you're dunking and swishing poop, Trying to get poops off the flap is really annoying, but generally speaking, you know, if I have a diaper sprayer, I, I like having the inner flaps. It has a four step rise, but I still find that this diaper is a little bit short on the shorter side. I think some improvements to this diaper, there could be longer tabs. I think that might make the fit a lot better. The elastics on these are really tight. Like really really tight which can be both a pro and a con there's a double leg elastic there are snaps for the waist and also the legs which I really enjoy that type of snap placement but the fit of this I'm just not feeling it I've had this cover in my stash for I don't know three years maybe two and a half years three years and this isn't the first Smart Bottoms cover that I've tried, but I just, I'm not a huge fan of the Smart Bottoms cover. It's definitely one of my least favorite covers. The next cover that I'm really not a fan of is the Rumperoos cover. I like the newborn Rumperoos cover, but the one size Rumperoos cover, it kind of reminds me of the Smart Bottoms as far as like leg tightness. These are some strong elastics. These are tight. It's a double leg elastic, so you have a double gusset there, but these are so strong which my girls have chunky legs so we always get red marks in these red marks aren't bad but again they're just not very gentle with very very chunky legs not saying that this won't work for chunkier babies but yeah not my favorite um, I do find this cover to be a bit small on the smaller side it's not something that fits my toddler well she's about 30 pounds and she's on the last snaps on these so and that's kind of a bummer when your child outgrows diapers before they're done being potty trained this diaper does not have any inner flaps the snaps on the inside are exposed it actually has this elastic in the front which I mean it's neither here nor there I like the elastic in the front for newborn diapers but for one size diapers I don't find it necessary I do find the tabs on these to be a bit long which is nice it has a snap for the waist and for the legs so it's got those two rows at the top. This cover is hard to see all the snaps because this print's all funky and crazy. It also has a three by three rise setting. So three snaps this way, three snaps this way. Not my favorite cover. I, I wouldn't buy a whole lot of these. I mean, they actually, this is actually a cover that works on a newborn. I think in 2016, I used these on Scarlet at about eight pounds, maybe, maybe seven pounds. And it can work for a newborn. It's big and bulky, but you know, since this is a bit of a smaller fit, 
of a cloth diaper cover, it does fit smaller babies pretty well. But bigger babies, you know, if your baby's 30 plus pounds, um, this is going to be a tight squeeze, especially depending on what you're pairing it with. Are you pairing it with a flat, a pre-fold, or a fitted? I would say this is not a great cover to go over a fitted. What's up? <laughs> you're gonna see my face a lot here because I'm interjecting a lot of thoughts that I didn't quite make, put in the video. So, with this Rumperoos cover, forgot to add the TPU delaminates very quickly it cracks this cover I got in July at the very end of July I got it for Scarlett's birthday she was turning three this was her first diaper print in a little Joey so the little newborn diapers so we wanted to celebrate her birthday in this print again so I found it I bought it brand new in package we've used it twice on her birthday and one other time I don't really reach for covers and I don't like the fit of this so I haven't really reached for it. This diaper's cracked already. Cracked. Cracked. Now you see all these snaps? There's this material here to reinforce the snaps. Well there are multiple spots on this where that's cracked. Now I don't know if my washer is just eating the diaper. My new washer does not have an agitator in it so maybe a wet bag zipper or something. I don't know, maybe the temperature of my washer, but after two uses, that material is already cracked. Now that's not going to affect the waterproofing of the diaper, because the actual TPU of the diaper is not affected. Just the little part that reinforces the snaps, but still, it's cracked. So, another thumbs down for me for the Romperoos cover. Nothing against the company of Romperoos, but the quality of the product, the way that it wears over time, that's disappointing that's very disappointing to know that I have used this literally two times and there are cracks all over it so there's that another cover that I'm not a huge fan of but I do use sometimes is the Alva cover now this one's a bit stained up on the inside and that's what I find happens to all of them this elastic this has double leg elastics which is nice, but this inner elastic is very cheaply made and it stains very easy. It actually reminds me of the inner gusset on Thirsty's covers. It relaxes very easily and I mean it doesn't matter if it relaxes, it doesn't change the fit really, but I mean if you're gonna put a double leg elastic don't let it relax. This one has inner flaps both on the back and in the front, but this one goes down really really deep. So it goes it goes about to where the elastic starts on the legs, which it really, really sucks in my opinion because when your baby, my girls are front wetters, so when your baby pees and if you're tucking a pre-fold or a flat in there, which is what I do since I pad fold, your baby's peeing on this part of the diaper, which is pointless. So I often have to put the flat or pre-fold on top of this front panel or else they're just peeing straight through the pee well, which I just don't like. It's very deep. I hear my phone ringing. Yeah, I just think these flaps that hold your flats and prefolds in place, I just think it goes down way too far. And the inner gusset on the elastic is just really cheap. I'm not a fan of the snap placements on the Alva. It does have crossover snaps, which is nice to help give your baby a, a nice tight fit around the waist. But it has a, a, a hip, a leg, and a waist snap, which I just, I don't care for that triangle shape snap placement. I don't ever really use the hip snaps on any of my diapers. Very rarely do I do that. Um, so I'm just not a fan of the snap placements. The quality of the PUL is okay. I mean, it's not bad, but yeah, I just, I don't really reach for this. All right, the next cover I'm gonna talk about is the Thirsties size two, cause that's what sh both of my girls fit in, but I mainly use the size twos on her. I really enjoy this cover. This is definitely one of my favorite covers. With my two older children that are cloth diapered, I really didn't like Thirsties covers. But after having her, they've definitely grown on me. I love the size one with her when she was a newborn. This diaper has a three by three rice setting, so three snaps this way, three snaps this way. It does only have one row of snaps here. So that's not my favorite. I really like the double rows of snaps. So this really just has a snap here for the waist and then a snap here for the hip. There's no leg snap. And I don't like hip snaps, so I don't use the hip snap. I only use the waist snap. And I just, I'm not a huge fan of that. It does have an elastic in the front. It does have double leg elastics. 
And just like with the Alva diaper, this inner elastic is, it seems kind of cheaply made and it relaxes really easily. I'm not a huge fan of that, but with that said, it is gentle, you know, so if your baby has very sensitive legs or your baby has chunky legs, it is gentle. The Alva in both the Thirsties, this inner elastic is gentle. I do find this cover to be pretty baggy. The back of this is really wide. I mean, look how wide this gets. So this would be great for something like a fitted. It's not generally the type of diaper that I like. I, I like a certain format when it comes to covers. And this doesn't exactly align perfectly with what I like, but I love the size one so much with her as a newborn, so I had to try the size two, and it is something that I like. There are no inner flaps here. There is this flat piece right here, but it, it's to reinforce these waist snaps on the front of the diaper. Reinforce those snaps. And then these rise snaps right here are exposed. But yeah, I really enjoy the Thirsty's covers. It's definitely on the top of my list of diaper covers that I like. Hey guys, <laughs> what's up? So I'm here editing the video right now, and I wanted to add in here that Thirsty uses a TPU. Most plasticky cloth diapers are made with either a P-Well or a TPU, generally speaking. And Thirsty's uses TPU. I do find that their diaper covers are thin, are very thin. And, you know, when I tried these covers back in 2015 and 2016, with my other girls that I cloth diapered. I didn't like it. I didn't like these Thirsty's covers because I felt like they were really, really thin. Generally speaking, I like a cover with a thicker P-Well. That's just, that's generally what I like the most. Something that's thick because my problem with covers that have thin P-Well or TPU is that it's a lot easier to get leaks. So that's really why I didn't like Thirsty's covers when I tried it with my two older girls. And also, the elastics really do relax very quickly. I mean, within just a few uses, the elastics start to go. So, you know, if I could insert <laughs> some improvements with Thirsty's covers, I would say they need some better elastics. But with that said, you know, the elastics is the reason why I fell in love with the size one when Willow was a newborn baby because a lot of things were giving her angry red marks. Pretty much most elastics were, but the Thirsty's covers didn't because they were so gentle. So, I mean, it's, they relax quickly, but they're also gentle. The TPU is a bit thin, which I don't personally mind right now. My girls don't leak through it, but I have had issues in the past with heavy wetters who have leaked through it. So that's just something to consider. I wanted to throw this in here um, to complete my thought because I did not complete my thought in this video. All right, back to the video. All right, the next cover we're gonna talk about is the flip diaper cover. This is from Bum Genius. This is one of Bum Genius's covers. This is a cover I've used many times over the past four and a half years through the three children I've cloth diapered. I like the fit of this cover, okay? Just off the bat. This diaper cover has stretchy tabs. I really enjoy the stretchy tabs on this. It's my favorite feature. I like stretchy tabs. I know e.l.f. diaper covers have stretchy tabs. I don't have my e.l.f. cover anymore. I didn't. I wasn't a huge fan of that. That is a knockoff of the flip cover. I wasn't a huge fan of the e.l.f. cover, but the design of that is identical to this. This cover has inner flaps right here. It also has two rows of snaps, one for the waist, one for the legs. So waist snap, leg snap, which is a snap placement that I personally like. It also has a 3x3 three three rise setting, and I was able to get this to fit at like eight pounds, eight and a half pounds with a newborn hack. I made a video about it. It's a weird hack. It does, it won't work for all body types. It looks a little funky. I actually wish Flip would just come out with a newborn flip cover. I would have loved a newborn flip cover, but you can do a little newborn hack. I saw someone do it on Baby Center. I made a video of it. It does work. It looks funky, might not work for all body types, but I'll link that video down below if you're interested. But yeah, that's pretty much the features of this. This is reinforced with like a polyester, the snaps are reinforced with a polyester material. Um, I like this diaper cover, I like the fit of it. The downside is the elastics relax very quickly. These elastics are fine, but Bum Genius, Flip Cover, all of their elastics relax 
very very quickly which is unfortunate and the PUL doesn't really hold up great over time this is a cover that I would personally not put inside the dryer because this PUL wears down really really fast all of my bum genius PUL and elastics have worn down really really fast and that's a huge con especially if you're wanting to use diapers like this on multiple children so this is a type of diaper that you would definitely need to baby not all diaper covers have to be hang dried I like to do that because diapers do wear over time it's just plain and simple I remember in my early journey people who had cloth diapered for like six months were like I put all of my diapers in the dryer on high heat with no issue so that's what I did but after nine months to a year my diapers were completely shot the PUL was just completely shot from doing all that so you know if you do want your diapers to last longer use low heat hang dry them it will help them last a, long, a little bit longer, but Bum Genius products are really hit or miss, especially with the elastics and PUL. And I know that really makes a lot of people mad, and they don't even bother with Flip or Bum Genius products because of that. So I like the fit. I like it, but the quality is, you know, hit or miss. The next diaper that I really like is the Happy Flute. Now, let's talk about Happy Flute for a second. Ha and Alva. Happy Flute and Alva. These companies are manufacturers, okay? So a lot of times they will make diapers, but they won't put their label on it. And they'll sell to people who have a wholesale license. So these wholesalers can sell on Facebook co-ops if you're part of co-op groups. A lot of those co-op groups go through Happy Flute and also Alva. You have Amazon sellers. So, so a lot of these Amazon sellers will just take these Happy Flute covers and jack up the price to like $9, $10 and sell it as their brand when it's actually not their brand, it's just Happy Flute brand. Now there's nothing wrong with reselling unbranded Happy Flute or unbranded Alva. And the unbranded means that Alva and Happy Flute don't put their labels on it. So this one would be an unbranded Happy Flute. And how you can tell it's a Happy Flute or Alva is just to look at the way that it's designed. They all have the same template. They all look exactly the same. So let's, let's get into the review. So I actually really like the fit and the design of the Happy Flute cover. The bad thing is I've had a lot of hit or miss as far as quality goes when it comes to my Happy Flute covers. She falling asleep. So I've had some that have ripped apart at the seams. I bought one from Happy Behinds. I don't know. It's buried somewhere and I have it. It's a lemon cover. I bought one from Happy Behinds and within just a few times of using it, it was coming apart at the seams. On, on the back side back here and also on the front, which sucks because now the diaper is starting to become not functional because it's literally falling apart at the seams. I've had some with weak snaps that won't stay shut both the rice snaps and also the waist snaps. So the quality is hit or miss. And for the price, that's kind of what you're paying for. But as far as like cheapies go and cheapy covers, this is probably one of my favorite cheapy covers as far as the design goes. So let's look at the inside. The inside has this front flap right here. No flap in the back. There are two rows of snaps for the waist and for the legs. Also, I think this diaper, yeah, this diaper cover has crossover snaps. So it has these snaps here so you can cross over the tabs for a tiny baby. Now, I did try the lemon cover, the one that was falling apart, on Willow when she was a little baby. She could not wear that until she was about 12, 13 pounds. So this is a bit of a roomy cover. This diaper cover also has a 3x3 three three rise setting. The snaps on the inside are reinforced with this polyester material. And so yeah, that, those are kind of just the basic features of this diaper cover. I like it. Oh, it also has double leg elastics, which I really like. So I like the fit of this diaper cover. This one I've had maybe for two years now, and it's still in very good used condition. I mean, there's no edge wear or anything weird going on with this. All the snaps on this are great, but Happy Flute can be hit or miss sometimes, so just keep that in mind. I have two other brands that are actually pretty sure are manufactured by Happy Flute. They have the Happy Flute design. I know definitely this one. This one is from Bum Bum Babies. I know the Fluffy Penguin Company and also Happy Behinds. They rebrand cheapies, both Alva and Happy Flute. 
This one's from Bum Bum Babies and it's definitely a rebranded Happy Flute. So everything I just said about the Happy Flute goes for this Bum Bum Babies cover as well. And then I also have this one from Nerdy Mamas. And I'm pretty sure she manufactures through um, Happy Flute as well. Though this one seems to be sized a little differently. This one actually seems to be roomier. The back of this one is a bit roomier. And she does custom prints. So you cannot find these at Happy Flute. You can only find all of her prints at her shop. And that's the thing about manufacturing through Alva or Happy Flute is that when you have a wholesaling license, you can get custom prints through there. And that's kind of how co-ops exist where they have custom prints from like Shutterfly or Shutter Shutterstock, that's what it is. They go to Shutterstock, they find some prints and they use those prints to put on diapers. But this one is from Nerdy Mamas, and it has the same features as a Happy Flute cover, but I would say this is bigger. It actually fits a lot bigger. It's a little roomier, which I really like because you can fit a lot into it, and also it'll fit bigger babies a little better. And plus, these custom prints are so cute. I'll make sure to link her shop down below if you're interested in checking out some of her Nerdy Mamas prints. I'm scared if I move her, she's going to wake Hey, it's me again. I'm editing the video, of course. <sighs> I realize Willow is not in a great sleeping position. I think the main concern when children are sleeping from chin to chest is asphyxia. Asphyxia is where um, your child doesn't have access to be able to breathe. So their nose is blocked or their mouth is blocked and they die from suffocation. Um, asphyxia can also happen in baby carriers and also car seats where you have a little newborn baby and their chin is to their chest and it actually blocks their airways and keeps their chest from opening up all the way to be able to get oxygen. So that's what as asphyxia is, is your child not getting sufficient oxygen and then they die from suffocation. Willow does not die from suffocation <laughs> from this sleeping position, but editing it, I'm like, ugh, yep. Mm, probably should have fixed it. Um, she only stayed like that for a few minutes, but I don't know how she sleeps like that and is comfortable like that. But I did want to add that in here because I know ugh, just editing this and looking back at it, it just, it doesn't look very great, but I do move her near the end of the video. Okay, I'll stop interrupting. Well, I'm not. I, there's another time I interrupt as well, but I'll, we'll get back to the video. The next cover I have is from Petite Crown. This is the catcher cover. I did a review on this. I'll link that down below so you guys can see a thorough review of it. This one is very, very stained, which I think is a con to this. I can't get this stain out, so it stains pretty easily. <laughs> this has, you know, the two rows of snaps for the waist and for the legs. The tabs do not have crossover snaps. The back of this is incredibly big and roomy. This would be great for fitted if you're needing something for a nighttime fitted. This fits up to 40 pounds, which is really nice. This has a three by four rise setting, so it has an extra step compared to the average, she's sleeping, the average one size diaper. So I really like that. It makes it roomy, makes it fit a little longer, and it has no inner flaps. And when I reviewed this, I lived at my old house. I had a diaper sprayer. I really wish this had inner flaps back then, but now that I have to dunk and swish poop, I'm really appreciating that this doesn't have inner flaps because I'm not a huge fan of dunking and swishing. I'll do it because I enjoy cloth diapering, but I'm not a huge fan of it, of sticking my hand in poopy, you know, to toilet water, but it is what it is. I just don't like this tag that's in the front of the diaper. I'd prefer it in the back or on the outside of the diaper, but yeah, I like this diaper. I like the fit of it. It's roomy. Uh, it seems to be good quality. It also seems to stain pretty easily. I just I'm gonna have to try to sun this thing again. I mean, this stain is <laughs> pretty gnarly. Next is my Nikki's diaper cover. This is a cover I've loved for years, for years. It was my favorite diaper cover with Hazel. Hazel is my third child, but she was the first one to be cloth diapered. I really like this cover. I think one of the downsides to this cover is that the crotch is so like trim but the back is like huge it's just really roomy in the back 
I don't really need all the room in the back when it comes to diaper covers because my girls don't really pee towards the back. They pee more towards the front. So I always add extra absorbency in the front. And this is just so trim in the front. I, I wish it were just a little bit wider. This diaper cover does have double leg elastics, which I really like. It also has inner flaps, which I like. Stains pretty easily. Again, you know, it's just holding on to stains really well. I actually found that my older Nikki's diaper covers, the POL on it's cracked. So it has not held up as great as I wanted it to. They did last for three babies. This one doesn't seem to have any cracks yet, but some of my other Nikki's diaper covers do have cracks, which is unfortunate. I don't understand how she's just passed out like this. This diaper cover does have two rows of snaps again for the waist and for the legs. It also has crossover snaps. So these little snaps right here are the crossover snaps to get that waist really tiny. I've never used that feature on this because I just find this diaper cover to be a little big for a small baby, but you know, if you have a smaller baby, those crossover snaps might be helpful. And yeah, I mean, I like this diaper cover. I've liked it for many, many years through multiple children. They've held up all right. Some of them are cracked, um, but yeah, they're, they're all right. So here I have this Imagine cover. I find that it's very similar to the Nikki's diaper cover. The cut looks exactly the same, pretty much. Same design, very trim in the crotch, very wide in the back. The only difference is that this doesn't have the inner flaps. And really, to me, that's the only difference between the Nikki's cover and the Imagine cover. They're both made by the same company. They're both owned by the same company, which is Nikki's diapers. Yeah, this just doesn't have the inner flaps, and the Nikki's does. Now, this one, I don't know why the PUL or TPU, whatever it is, on this one, I don't know if you can see. I don't think the camera's going to focus, but the PUL on this has gotten pilly. I don't know if my girls were like scooting their butts across the cement, which can cause this to pill, but I don't really have cement anywhere near my yard or my house besides the road, and they have not been sitting in the road. But like even the elastics on this are pilly. But yeah, that's that's a downside for me. I mean, it's just like my Nikki's diaper cover without the inner flaps. Since I've been dunking and switching poop, I like not having flaps now. I never thought I'd say that, but I also never thought I'd be dunking and switching poop. All right, and the very last diaper cover, I apologize for this long, long video, is the Lighthouse Kids Company diaper cover. Now this one is the Supreme. This fits from 15 to 55 pounds. So it fits bigger kids. It's actually advertised as a swim cover, but it's also, you can also use it as a diaper cover, which is what I use it as. I don't really swim. I don't have a pool, so I don't use it for that. Since it is a swim cover, it does have that mesh on the inside, like most swim covers do. This cover has two rows of snaps, one for the waist and one for the legs. It also has an extra hip snap on the tab, so waist, legs, and hip. Not a fan of the hip snaps. Don't care for hip snaps on any diaper, really. I don't use them really sometimes, but not often. It also has crossover snaps. Um, I've never used the crossover snaps on this, but I mean, I guess if your baby's on the smaller side, around 15 pounds, that crossover snap might be helpful. Now this diaper does have a three by four rise setting. That's how you can get it from about 15 to 55 pounds. I haven't tried it on Hazel. Hazel's about, she's a little over 40 pounds. She's not in cloth diapers, but I might try it on her to see how this fits her to see if this would actually be true to a 50 plus pound child. But yeah, this has this mesh on the inside, which I'm not crazy for, but right now, this is definitely one of my favorite covers right now. I just, I really enjoy the fit of it. I just, I really enjoy the fit. I enjoy the design of it. I like how roomy it is. I did sell this one. It's going out today, which is unfortunate because I freaking love this print. If you guys follow me on social media, especially Instagram, specifically my Instagram stories, you know that I love, 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 love sunflowers. This year I grew sunflowers for the first time and I just fell in love with them. They're just amazing plants. They're just absolutely incredible. And so I'm sad to sell this because this was a limited edition, but 
you know, tough times call for tough measures, but it is what it is. You know, I have a lot of diapers. I have a lot of diapers to sell. So maybe I will get this back in the future. I don't know, but I really like this cover. They do, Lighthouse Kids is known for their all-in-one diaper, and their all-in-one diaper is really cool. It's a very neat design. I wasn't a huge fan of the one size uh, all-in-one that they have. She kept out peeing it from a newborn. She just kept out peeing the diaper. I prepped it a million times. Could not get it to work for her. They also have a Supreme all-in-one, so much like this Supreme cover, so it's bigger size. I tried that. I really liked it. I used it for nighttime for her and it didn't work, but now that she's peeing less, she's eating less at night and she's peeing less at night, I think it would work for us, but I just don't like all-in-ones. Um, but the One Size Supreme all-in-one is just like a super powerhouse when it comes to all-in-ones. It absorbs so much, but it's really thick and really bulky. It fits from about uh, 15 to 55 pounds. The One Size all-in-one was very, very trim. I will give it that. I just... It just wasn't for us, and I like the design of it. I'm just not a huge fan of all-in-ones. My washer does struggle to get all-in-ones as clean as flats, which is why I like flats. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that was 12 diaper covers. These are all the ones that I have in my stash right now. I know this was a bit of a rushed video, maybe not even extremely informative, just because it's not like my normal style, but I just don't have the time in my life right now to highly edit and throw in a bunch of clips and you know, do all these cool angles and movements and add all this fancy music, stuff like that just takes way too much time. If I were to do that for this video, it'd probably take me about 30 hours in editing alone, which is just mind-boggling that it takes that long for one video. So I hope you guys did find some value in this video. I'm not much of a cover connoisseur. <laughs> While I do enjoy covers, I use pocket diapers way more, but I don't really have a like absolute favorite perfect pocket diaper if that makes sense but I will eventually go over some of my favorite pocket diapers if you guys are interested maybe I'll go over some of my favorite all-in-ones or the all-in-ones I have in my stash and how I like it how I don't like it how it functions how it absorbs all that stuff let me know if you guys want to see that I will do it I'll link it down below if you find this video helpful please share it. Whenever I'm not regularly posting on my YouTube channel, it helps out so much. And liking and sharing my videos is a free way to support me. There are also other ways to support me, like shopping through my affiliate links, which I'll leave down below. And also, I've had a few people ask me to do something like a Patreon, which I'm still not quite comfortable with, but I will leave a PayPal link down below, a Cash App link down below if you guys are interested in that. Never ever <laughs> would I tell you guys to send me money. But if you guys feel it on your heart to support me in any kind of way, I will leave those links down below as well. Alright guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. feel like there was no tomorrow Should have told you that you're beautiful But the day's passing now it's so long ago Did you make it? Did you break free? Did you manage to be who you wanna be? Maybe somewhere you think about me too